Liquidity ratios. In this video, we will cover the topic of liquidity ratios, looking at what a liquidity ratio is, how it's calculated, what the formula is, and what it can be used for and what it actually tells us when we use it in a business term. Let's start by looking at what is meant by the term liquidity ratio. Well, these are ratios that are used to make an assessment on the liquidity position of an organisation. A good exam tip is that when you see the word liquidity in the exam question, it means that you're most likely to be able to use one of these two ratios that we need to learn. The two ratios that you have to learn are the current ratio and the liquid capital ratio. Sometimes that was called the acid test ratio. However, we need to know it as a liquid capital ratio. Let's start by looking at the current ratio. Now, the current ratio is calculated by doing your current assets over your current liabilities. At this point, it's important to make sure that you understand that current assets are items that can be turned into cash within a year, and current liabilities are obviously our debts that we have to pay within a year. Now, this ratio compares our current assets to our current liabilities and it is expressed as a ratio, even though we do it as a division to start with. And it shows the ability of an organisation on whether it can pay its short-term debts to the liquidity position of the organisation. Now, for example, when you do that division, you might get an answer, let's say, the number 2. What you then do is you express it like 2 to 1. Now, what that actually means in English and in simple terms is that for every £1 in current liability, so every £1 we owe out in the short term, we have got £2 in current assets. That means we're able to pay our current liabilities and we've also got £1 left over every £2. If you think about it in simple terms, if we were to shut the business down tomorrow, once we paid off our debts, we've got £1 for every one pound left over for theoretically what we owe so we're going to get a pound of every debt extra which we get to keep that's what that current ratio is talking about as you can see on screen you've now got an example that you can do and try and calculate yourself pause the video while you do this now what you should have calculated was 3.5 million pound your current assets divided by your two million pound of current liabilities and that give you the answer of 1.75 to 1. So what we're saying there is this company's got one pound 75 pound and one pound and 75 pence in assets compared to every one pound in liabilities that they've got at the moment current liabilities that is. Now what does that figure mean? Well that figure needs to be compared to previous years so hopefully it's getting better it needs to be compared to our competitors, but it also needs to be compared to the industry standard. Now, it's deemed to be a good figure if it's between 1.5 and 2. So for the current ratio, we're looking for a figure ideally between 1.5 and 2. That's what's deemed to be a good industry standard figure. Of course, that will differ depending on the market which the company is operating in. And you want to be ideally as close to or better than your competitors. Another ratio we're going to look at is the liquid capital ratio. This ratio looks a bit like the current ratio, however, it is a little bit different. If you notice, we now do current assets less inventory divided by current liabilities. Now, you might be thinking, why? Well, that's because in the world of business, there is a belief that inventory is not the best current asset to have. That's because if you were to keep stock in a storeroom, it would depreciate in value. It may even go out of date. But also, if you want to sell stock quickly to turn it into cash, you may have to offer discounts. As a result of that, you then will see the value of that inventory fall. So that's why it's not a true test. Some people would rather look at the best asset being cash and obviously trade receivables, people who are due to pay you money because obviously you sold your product to them. Again, there is no guarantee they're going to pay you though because obviously they've got credit, hopefully they're going to pay you. It's believed that they will pay you, but that's where you obviously get your financial efficiency ratios, which we'll look at in another video. Now this ratio compares obviously the current assets less the inventory to your current liabilities. Again, it's expressed in inventory. And it's showing effectively the real liquidity position of an organisation. Now, if that business that you're doing this on 
holds a lot of stock, for example, a shop or a supermarket, you have to accept that this figure may be low because a shop without inventory is a little bit pointless. Nobody would go there. So some businesses won't fall when I come to the industry standard figure, straight in line with that. What you're actually looking for is a figure of 0.75 to 1. So when we look at this ratio, we want an answer effectively of 0.75 to 1. So what? let's take an example. If we got the figure of 0.5 to 1, that means for every £1 in current liabilities, the organisation is going to get 50p in liquid assets. Using our industry standard figure, we'd say that's a bit low. But again, that depends on what they're operating in. If it was a clothes shop, for example, it may be a good figure. As you can see on the screen, you've now got an example. See if you can calculate the liquid capital ratio using those figures. What you should have calculated was the first part, remember, current assets take away your inventory. And then you would divide that by your current liabilities, which would give you a figure of 0.5 to 1. Now that figure there, using our industry standard figure, is between that 0.75 and 1. So that suggests that even before we include any inventory, they've got 90 pence in current assets to pay every £1 in current liabilities they've got. So it would be fair to assume that as an organisation, perhaps if they sell their stock, they'll get that extra 10p back in the pound. So what does it actually tell us? Well, the calculations are only going to be useful if we can interpret the information and make some assessments. So the data that we've got is obviously the current ratio is 1.75 to 1, and we've got the liquid capital ratio of 0.5 to 1. Now, the first thing to draw from that is that both of them are exceptionally positive because they fall in line with our industry standard figures. So we said the current ratio being 1.5 to 2, and obviously 0.75 to 1, for the liquid capital ratio so everything's great there also it suggests that the current ratio does that the company can meet its current liabilities and that's one of the main factors we can draw from that it can pay its current liabilities the liquid capital ratio also suggests that will be the case because remember we've not included stock of course we have to factor in will those creditors the people we're giving credit to the trade receivables actually pay us it's all well and good including them in our liquid capital ratio but we've got to assume that they are going to pay us and that's where efficiency comes in are we being efficient when it comes to collecting payment we also have to factor in the competition and we have to factor in which market we operate in and we have to compare that as well as maybe looking at previous years but that ratio there is a good liquidity position it shows you the liquidity position of the organization on your screen now you will see a set of financial data this can be downloaded from the link below. However, you're going to use this data now to calculate some ratios. You need to complete the table that you see now for the current ratio and the liquid capital ratio for both years of the business. And then I would like you to try and use them ratios to help you make a decision on how is the business performing in its second year of trading. Now that you complete the table, those are the answers that you should have achieved. You probably want to discuss your written part of the answer where you were assessing the performance with a partner to share some ideas. However, you could post your thoughts below in the video for me to review and see how you're performing. Hopefully, at this point now, you understand a little bit more about a liquidity ratio. You understand the two ratios, a current ratio and a liquid capital ratio, and you're able to calculate both using the formula which you can recall. It's really important that you use the formulas and you use the calculations that you produce in your answers. They will help you to pick up as many marks as you can in the exam. Thanks for checking out the Be Business Be YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, it's at B Business B. Also, give the Facebook page a like, it's facebook.com forward slash B Business B. And lastly, don't forget to check out the online hiver activities found on bbusinessb.co.uk, full of quizzes, activities and resources. And remember, until next time, keep buzzing.